Hi, I'm Chad from Conair. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about why Conair does something a little bit different in our vacuum receivers. In the lid of our receiver is where the sequencing valve is located. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about why Conair has chosen to put that sequencing valve in the lid and some key benefits that make that a great position for the valve. Conair was formed in 1956 and started making these vacuum receivers not long after that. So we've got a bit of experience when it comes to understanding what plastics processors need. Now, if this sequencing valve were not in the lid of this receiver, it would need to be somewhere else. Where that somewhere else is, is in long stretches of tubing in your ceiling. Now you can see how that could be problematic. These T-valves, as most people call them, in the ceiling or in the conveying lines above your head, means that anytime they need maintained or serviced, you're looking through hundreds, maybe thousands of feet of conveying lines along the ceiling of your building for that T-valve. Then you've got to be up on a scissor lift or a man lift or some type of apparatus to get to that T-valve, open it up, maintain it, you're up and down multiple times. The nice thing about the sequencing valve being in the lid of a Conair receiver is that you've got access to it wherever you've got access to the lid. Let's take a look. Here, I'm beside a filterless receiver. So we're gonna take the lid off of this so we can see that sequencing valve inside the lid. You can see there's just three clip points that take the lid off of the receiver. And then as I take that lid off, you can see here is that sequencing valve. And I'll give you a closer look at that. You can kind of see it inside the lid here where there's this open section. And what it is is a rubber gasketed valve that's controlled by a cylinder and it goes out and in to close and open this vacuum line. So when it's out, like you're seeing right now, this vacuum line is closed. No resin can be pulled into the vacuum receiver. But when there's a demand signal, that demand signal will go to the universal terminal box. The terminal box sends the signal and the air necessary to the solenoid that then will open this valve and allow vacuum to pull through this receiver. Here you can see the location of that valve and how being in the lid of the Conair receiver is a huge advantage. If you need to perform maintenance, you can do that right here at the lid of the machine. The hoses are much shorter. You've got an air line that's coming from the receiver body. You've got a short communication line from the universal terminal box up to that solenoid. Just imagine if this sequencing valve were in the ceiling and you wanted your control still to be down by the receiver, much longer airline runs, and of course, more potential for pinched lines or problem getting to the sequencing valve. You can see that in less than a couple minutes, you could take the lid off of a receiver and do a quick visual inspection of that sequencing valve. We can see the condition of the rubber gasket. We can check the air lines. We can check the valve itself. We can check these hose clamps. All of that is quick and easy because of the location in the Conair receiver lid. Quick and easy. So let's quickly review a couple of reasons why Conair puts that sequencing valve in the lid. Reason number one, maintaining or troubleshooting T valves can be difficult when they are up in the ceiling. You'd have to get onto a lift to get to them. Sometimes they're buried behind other utilities depending on how old or complicated the system is. Reason number two, control wires need to be zip tied up to the conveying lines or up to the valves themselves in part of a conveying line system instead of integrated into the loaders like Conair does it. Number three, having a sequencing valve in the lid is much easier to maintain or replace. Number four, some processors have mentioned they like the pop at the end of a cycle that actually helps shake the filter clean a little bit. Reason number five, your Conair vacuum receiver includes the sequencing valve as part of the receiver cost because, well, it's included with the receiver. If you look at some competitive costs for vacuum receivers, they may look a little bit less expensive, but that's because they don't have the valve. You're gonna have to buy that valve separately and install it into the conveying lines along your ceiling. The sequencing valve for each receiver is a key component in a successful central conveying system. If those sequencing valves are placed up against the ceiling in your conveying lines, they're often forgotten. They're much more difficult to maintain. So that is why Conair puts that valve in the lid. 
Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video informative. If you'd like to know more about Conair conveying systems, you can always reach out to us at info at conairgroup.com or visit us on our website at conairgroup.com.